transforming cube is pretty cool, but I have something even better. Presenting Paco Paco. This model is like the color changing cubes on steroids. This one's rainbow, but it can really be any colors you want. Jeremy Schaefer introduced me to this model on a Zoom call, and if you don't know who Jeremy Schaefer is, he is the king of origami on YouTube. And he had quite a few Paco Pacos on hand. This model is from Tomoko Fuse's beautiful spiral origami book, and if you want to learn how to make it, you can click the link tree in my description to find Jeremy Schaefer's Paco Paco tutorial. And in the description of that video, he has some Paco Paco templates that you are free to print out and use. Now Jeremy has his own way of pre-creasing this model, but I like to start by scoring with a paperclip. And though it's a really tedious process, that's going to weaken the paper so that all your folds just snap into place. You really know you did a good job when you flip over the paper and you can see all of the indents from the scoring. I'm also running out of time, so go ahead and check out part two. Hi, and welcome to part two of how to make Tomoko Fuse's color changing tube, Paco Paco. At this point, all of your lines should be scored and you can color your template as desired. I ended up using highlighters instead of the markers. We're going to go ahead and cut that out and glue them together. I like to press it down with my glue stick. Next, we're going to start creasing. It shouldn't be too hard because we already scored all the lines, but we're basically just reinforcing what orientation the fold is going to be. All the blue folds are mountain folds, so they're going to be facing upwards, while all the red lines are going to be valley folds because they dip like a valley. Here, I'm just demonstrating how you should be folding your model. Again, blue mountain, red valley. And here's me speed folding the actual template. Again, same folds, the guides just aren't there. If it helps, you can even draw the red and blue lines. And it should look a little something like this. Go check out part three. Hi, and welcome to part three of how to make Tomoko Fuse's color changing tube, Paco Paco. Apply glue to that last layer lengthwise and attach. I do recommend flattening out the model. And then for the fun part, collapsing. Remember all of those red lines from before? We're gonna press all of those in and that's gonna pop all the folds into place. At this point, all of your folds should be in the memory of the paper. You're just nudging it in the right direction. Sometimes the paper will just collapse on itself and you just have to support the paper with your finger. If you want to learn how to weave the ends together like this, go ahead and check out Jeremy's tutorial. A huge thanks to Jeremy for showing me this model, and also a huge thanks to Tomoko Fuse for letting us teach it. And that's a finished model. As always, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to share if you made it.